Show me common song titles for five. Elvis Presley, Lil Wayne, Katy Perry, Lil Tecca. They really all have a song with the same title, huh? What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most gifted show on the internet. My name is Riley Zumdrup, and my present co-host, Graydon. That's right, fellow Americans. And welcome to episode two, what is... Hive Mind Jeopardy. We heard your cries, okay? There's double Jeopardy in this one. It's not just the first board, we got two boards and then final Jeopardy, and yes, it's exactly like the other game. But better. Arguably. Once again, we're not playing for money, we're playing for points. Comment how many points you get at the end. <laughs> All right, before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more, hivemindtv.com for our merch. We also have a drop over on Cope's website. It's on the screen and it's linked in description, along with our Patreon and our Cameo if you'd like to support us, or click the Join button here on YouTube and become a member. Just like me. All right. Buzzers out. Once again, DJ Grant is mic'd up and he's about to tell us what the categories for the first round are. Do it, Grant. Today's categories are the following. Guess the producer from the credits. Guess the popular rap song from the sample. Midas Touch. Every answer in this category contains the word gold. Common song title. For this category, you will be getting a list of artists who all have a song with the same title. You'll be guessing that title. Fictional animal mutations. And finally, Potpourri. This is our music trivia category. Okay. All right, you go first. Give me fictional animal mutations for one. This one's two animals. Okay. Graydon. Looks like a lion and a giraffe. That is correct. Yes. Yeah, that makes sense. It's a giraffe. Or a giant. <laughs> <laughs> the San Francisco Giants. <sighs> what would they sound like? Do giraffes make sound other yeah. than like slurping sounds? They whistle. Giraffes whistle? Yeah. How do they sound? It's a deep whistle. I can't really replicate it. Like a... Deeper. <laughs> so, yeah. A human couldn't simply do it. The length of their neck allows Maybe them. Maybe if I like cr No. You would need to lengthen your neck, not scrunch it. It's closer, I guess, but. <laughs> that more sounds like a, the breeze before a storm. Or the smell of rain or <laughs> lavender and linen sheets. Give me animal mutations for two. This one's two animals. Graydon. This looks like a pelican and an alligator. That is incorrect. What? Uh, Riley. I'm gonna go with a pelican and a lizard. That is incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, we're both in the negative. I knew this would happen. What is it? It's an alligator and a bird. Oh. Just alligator and bird. Yeah. <laughs> bird, that's not an animal. That's a type of animal. That's so true. You wanna see one? What? <laughs> That's the bird. Show me potpourri for one. The Swedish rap collective consisting of Blade, Tybo Digital, Echo 2K, and White Armor is better known by this name. Graydon. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Drain Gang? That is correct. <laughs> Drain Gang, baby, you wouldn't know nothing about Drain Gang. I am Drain Gang. <laughs> this thumb speed thing. I really gotta work yeah. on it. I was trying. <laughs> I'm trying to fish out that daily double. Show me Midas Touch for three. This actor played the sarcastic mathematician Ian Malcolm in Steven Spielberg's Jurassic Park. Riley. I'm gonna go with Jeff Goldblum. That is correct. Wow, a silky, golden-voiced Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and there's gold in his name, because there's gold on the ceiling and Midas Touch. I'm gonna go with common song title for one, please. Frank Ocean, Future. Riley. Gotta be Solo. That is correct. Solo. Two great songs. Yeah, two fantastic songs. There's a big debate on Twitter about with which one's better. And you know what? I say the Frank Ocean one. I probably agree. But it's close because they're both great songs. Yeah. I don't agree with the sentiment where they're like, this one's trash. Yeah. Future washes Frank Ocean in the well, solo battle. Well, it doesn't surprise me that hardcore Future fans don't love Frank Ocean. But if they like that song, that kind of like elevated floating through the clouds yeah. sort of vibe, then I feel like they can get that from Frank Ocean as well. The problem with Frank Ocean is that he doesn't sip lean. I think that's going to be the big, that's the big <laughs> issue there. Yeah. Well, if he does, he does it in private. He does everything in private, so who knows? That's true. <laughs> he could be sipping lean every single day. We wouldn't know, because all we know about him is cock rings and ice rinks. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to continue down that path and go to common song title for two, please. Lil Peep, Chief Keef. Graydon. Hate being sober? That is incorrect. <sighs> I'm simply racking my brain. I'm going to give up on it. This is save that shit. Oh, fuck my life, don't hate me, don't you tell me you can say that shit. That makes sense. All right, so it's back to me. Mm -hmm. Let's open up the audio. Let's turn the speaker on and do samples for one. Free big slime out the cage. Shorty tried to play it cool, but now she wish she would have stayed. Riley. Interpolation. 
But I'm going to go with The Hillbillies by Kendrick Lamar and Baby Keen. That is correct. It's too new. It's too new? It's too new to be in the game. came out like two weeks ago. It's too new. I don't like it. What's next? You're going to ask me what day it is? It's like, how am I supposed to know that? It's literally happening right now. I mean, I don't know. This is how would I know what day it is? It's going, like, today is the day. You know what I mean? Yeah, When but someone like, asks me what's the day, it's like, I don't, today? Okay. It's too new to ask someone. It has to settle in. You have to teach kids it in school. The Hillbillies just came out. Have you ever... Ever, like talk to your doctor about maybe having anxiety anxiety whatever man it's too new what's next are they gonna start teaching kids about the iraq war it just <laughs> happened it didn't just i mean well it's whatever. still pretty it's fresh kind of, man yeah. the wounds are still healing you can't right. start teaching people stuff about it until everyone that was involved in it's dead that seems like a bad practice what like a really bad principle <laughs> whatever man i had a bad principle too you yeah. know you had a coke nail <laughs> Let's do producer from credits for one. I'm trying to get a feel for every single category. Sure, man. Father Stretch My Hands Part 1. Bad and Bougie. Creepin'. Graydon. Oh! Metro Booming. That is correct. Whatever. Balls back in my hands. Right where I want it. <laughs> All balls in your hands, man. Show me Midas Touch for five. The final installment of Mike Myers' spy comedy trilogy co-starred Beyonce. Graydon. Gold member. That is correct. You sure it wasn't Goldfinger? That was the James Bond movie. And That's was, what they were parodying. Ah, uh, my bad. My because bad. he yeah. dipped his weenie in gold. That's why the member was gold. Ah, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's cool. Show me common song titles for four. Post Malone, Drake, Mac Miller. Graydon. Congratulations. That is correct. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great job, man. Thanks, dude. Can't believe MGMT wasn't on there. Yeah, that is a little weird. It's messed up. <laughs> Seems a little messed up. But maybe that's kind of the... The smoke in the hay. Smoke on the stage. What? So you can't smoke on stage? You can smoke on stage. Depends. Well, yeah, most places, though. For it's some a... reason, like, the people on stage are always allowed to smoke. Yep. And then all of a sudden, I spark up a little meth in the crowd, and they're like, get the fuck out of here. What do you think you're doing? It's <laughs> the same way I felt when I was at that risky burlesque. Huh? I started shaking my ass around and showing people my feet and shoving stuff up me. Yeah. And they kicked me out. Yeah. It's what they're doing. Well, it wasn't as artful. <laughs> You were sweaty and <laughs> confused and yeah, just trying to fit in. You used that eyedropper to put a little bit of 2CB in your eye right before yep. you went in. So I don't really think you knew exactly what you were doing. You got to fit in where you get in, man. I think it's get in where you fit in. Whatever. I failed <laughs> nonetheless. <laughs> Show me Midas Touch for four. This crew rapper famously dissed Mac Miller in an RIP post he made for the late artist. Riley. Who was Gold Link. That is correct. Yes, 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 yes. That's my sticky celebration. <laughs> That's okay. Baby loving the crew. Different song. I didn't know Gold Link did that. Yeah, it was like passive aggressive weird thing with Mac Miller. Interesting. Yeah. A lot of people credit that to like why his career hasn't really gone anywhere since. Like nobody wants to work with him. I credit his live show where he takes a break in the middle of it to do like Smells Like Teen Spirit and yeah. like some and like Panic at the Disco and Green Day songs for call. no reason. It's odd. Instead of doing his own songs, he does like rock hits. Yeah, it's weird. Anyway, let's do common song title for three, please. Rihanna, ASAP Ferg, Iggy Azalea. I can't name one Iggy Azalea song, so I'm out. I can name one, but I don't know if there's a Rihanna song with that title. Give it a shot. No, thanks. You tried to trick me. <laughs> you tried to trick ASAP me. ASAP Ferg actually has a song with that title, too, so it would make sense if you guessed it. Really? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you know what? I fancy myself a little keeping my points, so I'm not going to do it. Grant, what is it? Work. Where, 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 where? You need me to get done, done, where if you come over. Never heard it. You've never heard that song? It was written by Party Next Door? Never heard it. What the hell? Still your ball, Riley. Let's do Potpourri for two, please. This, the social network star, also released the critically acclaimed pop album Future Sex Slash Love Sounds in 2006. Riley. Who is the guy from Napster, Justin Timberlake. That is correct. Yes. Great album. Really, really talented singer. He's a good actor in there, too. Hot take. Yeah. Don't love that movie. Oh, I think it's pretty good. I know. Everybody thinks it's really good. The main guy doesn't do it for me. You always hated Facebook. Yeah. And funny. I think Michael Sarah did a great job in that movie. Well, it was uh, Fred Flintstone or whatever the hell his name was. <laughs> Jesse Eisenberg? Yeah, exactly. Whatever. I okay. get those two mixed up. You know what I was thinking about? Sure. We're both from Toledo, so right. we'll get this. Tony will, too. There is a real person from Toledo who has a name that I think would be the funniest possible name to make up. Like, you know, we make up names yeah. to tell stories and stuff. I feel like you will be instantly jealous that you 
didn't come up with this name, and it's a real person's name that nobody watching will know unless they're from Toledo. Go right ahead. Cardi Finkbeiner. <laughs> That's good. His name is Cardi and Finkbeiner. Yeah. And everybody was like, yeah, I'm voting for Cardi Finkbeiner. It's <laughs> insane. Anyway, let's do samples for two, please. Lyrically, I'm untouchable, uncrushable, getting mad, blunted in the six. Mmm. I don't know it. Yeah, you know what? It's going to be somebody interpolating his flow or something. I'm not confident enough. We're both going to hang our buzzers up. What is it? This is Untouchable by Pusha T. I literally was like, Pusha T, flow. In my head. I'm safe. I thought about pushing it just to try. Yeah. That temptation is big. Yeah, I know. <laughs> God, I just want to try everyone. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's not smart playing, though. Let's do producer from the credits, too, please. Karma by Taylor Swift. Greenlight by Lord. And Cinnamon Girl by Lana Del Rey. Graydon. Mark Ronson? That is incorrect. Oh. Riley. Who is Jack Antonoff? That is correct. Yes. He used to be in the band Fun. And he's also in Bleacher. Well, he is Bleachers. He's a guy. He's not like like a Bleachers at a stadium or something, but he's uh, that's his project's name is Bleachers. He also used to date Scarlett Johansson. He wears glasses, too. Let me guess. I mean, yeah, but the, the, that was supposed to blow your mind. Oh, I found let me that guess. out recently, like 10 years ago, he dated Scarlett Johansson. Let me guess. What's next? He's white. Yes, but why does that not <laughs> even affect you that he dated Scarlett Johansson? She's a movie star. Yeah, but she's married to Colin Yost. It, it's, it's Colin Jost. Well, the J is <laughs> silent for some people. Well, it wasn't silent for you. It was a Y. Yeah, well, that's how it is for me. Yeah. So why would that be surprising that she dated another white guy with glasses? Colin Jost doesn't have glasses. Not on the show. But in his private life, he wears big, dumb glasses. <laughs> Whatever. I didn't know that. I'm just saying Jack Antonoff, like, 10 years ago was not that famous and was dating mega star Scarlett Johansson. I saw a picture of them embracing. Where's bracing? Whatever. Let's do samples for three. Beautiful. Yeah, I love it. You doing? You're hanging it up again? I wanted to. I'm like floating around a couple things. Man, I definitely heard it before. I feel like I even know the artist, but I'm not willing to risk my points. So I'm going to hang it up as well. This is They Don't Love It by Jack Harlow. Oh, yeah. Never heard it. They don't love it. They don't, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> they don't love it. They don't, they don't, they don't. I am big off the Jack Harlow train right now. I liked that new album. Heard he's a bad guy, though. What'd you hear about him? That's just the rumors going around. I actually know a real rumor about Jack Harlow. What's there. a real rumor? Like, I mean, it's not a rumor. I know something about him, but it's like from local people. Okay. And not like something that I would ever say on the show. Oh. I'll, I'll say it, but I, I don't want it to be in the video. <laughs> Out of line. Yeah. Well, okay. That's it. That's it, Jack. <laughs> Let's see the animals for three, please. There are three animals here. Graydon. Zebra, elephant, and tiger. That is correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's where I was going to. I hate that image, though. I, I wish like that it. the zebra pattern slash tiger pattern expanded onto the flappy ears of the elephant, and I don't think the artist did a great job. The artist is a computer. I don't care what they are. Oh, I'm just saying, I would think they did a bad job. I can't wait till elephants are extinct. What? Their intelligence threatens me. They're not that smart. They are fucking brilliant. They have a great memory, but that doesn't make them that smart. Dolphins are way smarter. I'm not scared of dolphins. They live in the water. Yeah, if you put it true. on the land, it would dry out and turn into a piece of jerky. An mm -hmm. elephant can do math. That should worry all of us. And there's a reason we've been killing them for all these years. And it's not just ivory. Oh, I was going to say it's just ivory. No, it's not. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because they've been reasons. Yeah. They've been plotting sophisticated terrorist attacks across the globe. Well, they're shitty painters, so I don't feel that threatened. Neither do I. Well, as an artist, <laughs> you yeah, shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> we still haven't gotten that juicy little daily double. Where is it? I'm using my daily double finder. Show me Midas Touch for one. Released in 2012, this Trinidad James single was ironically certified platinum on May 6, 2019. Riley. I have a question. Why was it ironically certified platinum? I feel like they should just certify it platinum, right? Well, it's ironic because gold's probably in the title. Gold and then platinum. Okay, it's all gold everything. That is correct. Yes. Let's go Midas Touch for two. Commonly known by this nickname, the mineral pyrite is known for its visual similarity to a different, more valuable substance. Graydon. Fool's gold? That is correct. Mm, fool's gold. I'm bleeding. Get that song out of my head. Also, the material I use for all my girlfriend's wedding rings. <laughs> 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 
all of them? Why what? You, isn't there just one wedding ring? Or well, oh, all of my girlfriends, plural. Yeah, they're all the, all of their wedding rings. I haven't given them to them yet, but I have them in waiting in secret locations around the city. Why don't you just keep them like with you? Well, they're in secret locations in case the mood is right and it's spontaneous and romantic, and I can say, "What's that under this tree?" It's yours, baby. <laughs> and I'm yours forever. Please have me. And yeah. just so I have this Please, ring. Please, go ahead. Are they specific rings for each woman in the, or is it just kind of like there's multiple of the same ring hidden around the city so that if you're there on a date in that location, it could be with any of the women that you plan on maybe proposing to? Um, Yeah, there are a few specific locations that those girls would only want to go to. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. You have it mapped out. Yeah, there's like a fishing hole that my fishing girlfriend... Oh, likes right. to go to, yeah. and I have the I have that special ring there for her. But there are some generic overlaps: McDonald's, the Sephora. You know what I mean? Right. Stuff that kind of <laughs> works across the board. Yeah, totally. Yeah. But the rings again, are they specific? Some of them, yes. Like the fishing ring and the fishing spot has an engraved trout. Okay. I know it's complex and confusing, but it's just how I live my life. Yeah, it's maniacal. I understand. Thank so. you. Show me those animals for five. This is four animals. Oh my god. I'm just missing one. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> Riley. Cat, spider, crab, octopus? That is incorrect. Fuck! You made me want to try because I was inspired by one of your guesses, but I like you losing five and me hanging high. Blah, blah, <laughs> blah, whatever. Holding on, hanging it up, Grant. What is it? This is a moose, a flamingo, a cat, and a spider. Where's the moose? Horns. <laughs> horns? That looked like yeah, the yeah, devil. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't look like, you ever seen a moose? Their antlers are very specific. <laughs> it's like BLP kosher hair. <laughs> Still looking for that little diddly daily double. Um, show me, show me, show me. Show me producer from credits for four. Yes! <laughs> I'm the man. <sighs> How much are you wagering, Graydon? I'm going to go big here. One point. What? One point? Grant, what's the question? You don't get a chance to answer this. I know that. Okay. No Lie by 2 Chains featuring Drake, We Can't Stop by Miley Cyrus, and No Type by Ray Schremer. I believe this is Mike Will Made It. That is correct. I should have, I in hindsight, I should have wagered a lot more. <laughs> should have gone true daily double. I showed no guts and no class, but I did it for the bit because I said it would be a big wager, and then I wagered the smallest amount possible. And that's funny, but competitively, I realize I made a mistake. Okay. Daily Double's gone. Stress is gone. I'm good vibes in the studio. Everything's vibed out. Show me common song titles for five. Elvis Presley, Lil Wayne, Katy Perry, Lil Tecca. Oh my God. They really all have a song with the same title, huh? I kissed a girl and I liked it. No. Elvis definitely did that a lot, though. You kissed a girl and liked it? Fuck yeah. <laughs> this is the king, man. I'm not going to do it. What is it, G? It is Love Me. Love me. If that's what you want to do, yeah. Oh. That's by the 1975, which also isn't on there and would have tipped me off. <laughs> Show me those nasty animals. There are three animals here. <laughs> Graydon. Show me a mouse, a lizard, and a monkey? That is incorrect. Oh, man. That hurts. <laughs> Riley. Give me mouse, lizard, and bulldog? That is incorrect. Oh. <laughs> Dog is not an animal. It's my high school mascot. It's still, it is an animal, but don't you see how it has kind of like a bulldog chest and like that wide weird thing? Is it pit bull? Say lizard, a dog, and a monkey. Mm. A lizard, a dog, and a monkey. Ah, I replaced the monkey with dog and went for mouse. And somehow that did look like a mouse ear. I think the computer did a great job on that one though. You like that little hairy freak. It just was a cool image. I mean, the color, yeah. it had a mood to it. And I can respect that. It did have a mood to it. You know, and I don't think we should even really be that worried about AI and kind of like its effect <laughs> on the art world. If anything, we should be effect worried more about the effect it'll have on like, uh, you know, political like elections that's and stuff the like mic that. bro yeah so anyway let's talk about this this thing that's going on overseas man i mean oh my gosh right war crimes no the other thing socialism no it was something else it's a little more worrying than either of those things <laughs> wow. <laughs> um siestas four-day work weeks british music that's what it was british Beach. music yeah. yeah it seems like yikes you know i mean what's next i don't know british like art british yeah. visual art Maybe. I don't think so. Again, dude, that's the mic. You don't need to talk <laughs> Let's the keep buzzer. that over in America. Am I right, guys? Okay. Let's go uh, potpourri for five. The cover art for this 2016 debut album includes the coordinates for a Bank of America in Atlanta. Riley. What is Lil Boat 1 by Lil Yachty? That is correct. 
Yes. Nice. I did not know that that was, I knew it had coordinates. I didn't know that it was for a Bank of America in Atlanta. That's pretty cool. I thought the Bank of America was in D.C., <laughs> the Federal Reserve. Yeah. Actually, I think that's in like Virginia or something, but whatever. You get my point. It's still it's funny. A, it's a pun. No, yeah, you did it. It's funny. Yeah, thanks. We love it. Whatever. We love stuff like that, man. Oh, man, I'm starting to sweat. Let's do samples for four. Oh, 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 I know it. 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 I mean, I know the original. I don't know where it's sampled, though. I, I'm hanging it up. I don't give a shit anymore. This is My Life by Mary J. Blige. Okay. And it samples yeah. Everybody Loves the Sunshine. This is also sampled in Dr. Dre's My Life and Joey Badass's Shine. Yeah. My life, my life, my life. Let's go, producer, from credits for three, please. Get Your Freak On, Missy Elliott, Pony by Genuine, and Big Pimpin' by Jay-Z. Graydon. Timbaland. That is correct. Yeah, yeah, it sure is. Timbits, that's what I call them. <laughs> that's what I call those little donut holes from Tim Hortons. Except for the Bieber ones, those are called B-Bits. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I would get my eyes on some B-Bits. Easy now. What? I want donuts. We're almost a double jeopardy, you know? We were doing really well without you saying you wanted to see the genitals of anybody. What? I just want to see the donuts uh, that he puts <laughs> on his balls. Yep, see, here we go. <laughs> he puts them on his this balls and I mean. butt. We got so far into the video. <laughs> it's fun for Haley to whatever she does with him. I don't care. Well, but I just read it in Seventeen Magazine that Bieber covers his balls and butt with donuts. Well, you shouldn't <laughs> trust Reddit, okay? What? I read it on Seventeen. Oh, sorry. The hard magazine that I bought from the dollar store. I thought you said you found it on Reddit when you were 17. It had sex tips for the summer. Can I borrow that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess. Okay, I just need sex tips for the summer. Okay, your knee's touching my leg a little bit and you're <laughs> jiggling it and I'm not a fan of that. It's a lot of room over there and it's jiggle, just like, jiggle, jiggle. it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> Thank you for those points, everybody. Um, let's hear or see or feel potpourri for four. This 2019 Grammy-winning song features uncredited guest vocals slash ad-libs from Young Thug, 21 Savage, Blockboy JV, Quavo, and Slim Jimmy. Riley. What is This Is America by Childish Gambino? That is correct. Oh, yeah. Nice one. This is embarrassing. Don't catch you slipping, though. That song really changed everything. Yeah, and in retrospect, is not... It's not, it's, I don't know, it doesn't hit the same. Well, I'm just saying, all those problems that were addressed in that song, thankfully, are no more. Yeah, they've resolved. Yeah. Interesting. It's the power of music. Let's do producer from the credits for five, please. Back to Back by Drake, Beebs in the Trap by Travis Scott, and Friends by the Carters. Riley. Nav. That is correct. Nice. Yes. <laughs> producer Nav. <laughs> I'm glad he's here in the producer section, you know? Got tricky there in five. Yeah. Subversive. Oh, uh, let's finish out samples. <laughs> you know it. Why are you touching me? You do. Don't, don't, you can't press my button. They've never done that on Jeopardy. I've never seen anybody reach over and press the other person's buzzer. Oh, if I were there, I would press Ken's buttons till he quit. We'd all be better for it. Why do you hate Ken Jennings so much? Because he's a little <laughs> sniveling piece of shit. He's not, really. He tries to inject his own comedy and quips and quirks. He's the greatest ever. He's like, oh, here's our returning champion for 14 days in a row. That's 28 short of mine. Like, it's like he shit doesn't like say that. that. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Okay, whatever. And he he had that one Halloween costume. He had a bad Halloween? He yeah, he was Saddam Hussein. No, <laughs> Yes, he was. Really? Ken Jennings was Saddam Hussein for Halloween last year. And it's like, Jesus, man. That's not even topical. People don't even recognize you. It's like, I don't even know what Saddam looks like anymore. Are we sure he was Saddam? Yeah. Oh, okay. He made sure to tell people. Oh. He posted it. <laughs> the Instagram caption was, I'm Saddam, bitches. Boom. <laughs> God, that is awful. You yeah. know what? I'm, I'm kind of on your side now. <laughs> Thank you. Has the lady from the Big Bang Theory done anything problematic? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so we can't root for her either? Uh, you can, because what she did that was problematic is actually kind of funny. And what was it? She pretended to be a man and then entered the NFL and then showed everyone her boobs in the locker room to prove a point. That's, I don't know what point she was proving. but Neither do I, but it is definitely, it's kind of problematic, I guess. Yeah, definitely, but yeah. it's weird. The, what's honestly impressive, though, she made the team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Slot receiver. It's of a Mulan situation. Exactly. Not More sure of a Mulan. if Mulan showed her boobs to anybody. I think it's a yeah. Disney movie. So In the gritty reboot. Yeah, I'm the gritty sure reboot. they did. Yeah. yeah, she'll be like, well, hey, wait a second. You guys want to see these things? Uh, <laughs> the dragon's like, oh boy! Whatever it sounds like. I can't do it good any Murphy. But Take a look at those cans. You know, yeah. That's the gritty reboot. Yeah, yeah well, exactly. We just wrote a movie. 
So good for us. <laughs> um, oh, is there an Alex Trebek Jr.? Oh, like did he sire a child and name it? his same name. I'm just saying, is there a kid that we can wait to grow up so that he's going to be kind of like uh, the crocodile hunter? Oh. Like we get like a new one, like, you know, because we don't like Ken Jennings. We don't like the Big Bang Theory girl. So maybe. I like the Big Bang Theory girl for the record. Oh, cool. So I could really give a fuck about Alex Trebek's children. Uh, we, uh, neither of us know this one. So. This is Dog Tooth by Tyler, the creator. Right on. Ah, yes. A little vocal sample. I like it. He samples himself on Juggernaut. Ah, that's cool. See how Grant's doing it with class and candor? Yeah, sure. Ken should take a lot of notes. Do you think he watches this? Probably not. All right, last one. You can hear this Courtney Love fronted band signals celebrity skin in films like American Pie and Captain Marvel, among others. Riley. What is whole? That is correct. <laughs> what is whole? That's great, yeah. What is whole? Yep. So for double jeopardy, the points are doubled. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Got it. All right, Grant, what are our categories for this round? The categories for the next board are as follows. Guess the album from the features. Guess the rapper from the really old song. Star Wars. This category is about celebrity beef. Your answers will be the celebrities involved. Obama's Infinite Playlist. Every answer for this category is a song that has been on one of Obama's playlists. Royalty Free. And finally, Bar Food. These will be lyrics about food, and your answer is going to be the rapper who said them. All right. So I get first choice here. I am going to go with Royalty Free for two, because I'm curious about what this category even is. This Kendrick Lamar and J-Rock song on the Black Panther soundtrack is well known for the future line, I took her to my penthouse and I freaked it. Graydon. <laughs> King's dead. That is correct. Oh, so we're royalty free because the king has died. Got it. Ah, I see that. I see that. It's not a royalty free song, though. If we were to play it, we would get claimed. <laughs> play it. Don't play it. Okay. Show me Star Wars for six. This female rapper had a spat with this Netflix star over his revealing of her private request asking to be set up with his co-star, Joseph Quinn. Graydon. Doja Cat. And? Oh, I gotta name the star, too? Yep. Of course. Oh, F Ferb from Phineas and Ferb. I can't remember who it was. <laughs> I knew it was Doja. Yeah, it's the two people in the beefs. I remember now that he described the category as that. Um, Finn Wolfhard. That is incorrect. <laughs> Riley. Who is Doja Cat and Noah Schnapp? That is correct. Schnapp. Schnapp, Schnapp. Remember that? Forget that about whole thing? Schnapp, whatever. Schnapp. No, I forgot about Noah Schnapp. Sorry. Okay, well, <laughs> damn it. Stranger things have happened. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get a feel for each category. Let's go with bar food for two, please. She thinking Philippe's. I'm thinking Wingstop. Fiend and lemon pepper. I got my thing cocked. Graydon. Show me Rick Ross. That is correct. Thought it was too obvious. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was it's two, two. It's two. Yeah. yeah, totally. Royalty free for eight. This 1986 indie rock album title may have seemed like wishful thinking at the time, but on September 8th, 2022, it came to fruition. Graydon. The Queen is Dead? That is correct. Oh, the Smiths. There the Smiths go. are indie rock? Yeah. I think they're like one of the first to be considered so. Okay. Remember when Jimmy Fallon called them emo? <laughs> oh, that was funny. It's this really emo band, The Smiths. Not quite. <laughs> um, show me royalty free for six. Yes. No way. I'll wager, what's Riley's score? 26. Okay, show me nine. 14 seed Mercer University ousted this royally named school in 2014 in one of the most famous upsets in March Madness history. Show me Duke. That is correct. Yeah, wow. It's a big daily double, I needed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fantastic work. Thank you. I'll go bar food eight. Cooler than a million, I be chillin'. Still quick to slice squares like Sicilians. Ah, uh, slice squares. That's a pizza reference, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Screaming Sicilian. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna I hang it either. up. I'm gonna hang it up here. Who said it? This is MF Doom. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah oh course. wait, I now I hear it in my head. <laughs> yeah. God, I know the line. Good. Oh well. Whatever. Let's hear a really old song for eight. Freestyling, freestyling, know that I'm freestyling. Yo, girl in my crib, and you know she free balling. Niggas be tripping, but never be. You keep talking all this shit and I'm a happy rockin' party. Fire. Riley. Destroy Lonely? That is incorrect. Really? He was so nasally. <laughs> I thought maybe he was on some old school, you know. Here I go. Just kidding. <laughs> 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 I'm not gonna do it. This is YNW Melly. Mm, ah. Nothing really to say about him. <laughs> Um, show me royalty free for 10. This Cameron Diaz character decided in a 2001 film to forego her royal birthright in order to be with her one true love. Riley. 
Oh, Fiona. That is correct. <laughs> oh, almost said Shrek. Nice. But that's the movie. Hey, you, you got your points I mean? back. Yeah, yeah, I got my points back. Nice. Album from the features for two, please. Blast, Amanda Reefer, Sampha, Taylor Page, Summer Walker, Ghostface Killa, Kodak Black, Baby Keem, Sam Du, Tana Leon, and Beth Gibbons. Riley. Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. That is correct. Yes. Nice. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Uh, let's do that category again for four, please. BJ the Chicago Kid, Lily Kay, Nate Fox, No Such Thing, Vic Mensa, Twista, No Name, Saba, Childish Gambino, Action Bronson, and Ab Soul. Graydon. This coloring book? That is incorrect. <clears throat> Riley. Show me acid rap? That is correct. Nice. Yes. I knew it had to be Future. Chance. Yeah. Future. Yeah, it was Future on Future and Bieber yeah. and all that. Yeah, that yeah. was on. Uh -huh. I just misplaced it. Let's try bar food for four, please. Got the lamb rack pan roasted, laced it with fennel. Little yogurt that been drizzled over might be a winner. Graydon. Gotta be Action Bronson. That is correct. He's yeah. yeah. <laughs> the only rapper talking about a lamb rack and yogurt <laughs> sauce and fennel. like Specific enough where yeah. you know he's been in the kitchen. Yeah, <laughs> he literally <laughs> cooked it. Show me bar food for ten. Big wheels, big straps, you know I like it supersized. Passengers a red bone, her weave look like some curly fries. Inside fish sticks, outside tartar sauce, pocket full of celery, imagine what she telling me. This is awesome. It is. <laughs> and I know I've heard it before, but I, I don't, I'm not confident enough to guess, I don't Neither think. Am I. It's a 10 and it's risky, I just, you know. Yeah, and it's a 10 out of 10 for me. Yeah, it is. Who is it, G? This is Jeezy. Uh, oh, yeah. Wouldn't have got there. Place I knew up. it was Southern rap, though. Yeah. Because you can just tell by, like, the way, the flow and, like, what he, yeah. Tartar sauce. They always describe their car the inside and the outside. Yeah. <laughs> In Southern rap, that's, like, the thing, mm -hmm. you know? All right, still my board. Let's finish bar food. Bitch, I got the Mac or the 40. Turn a bitch to some macaroni. Oh, I've heard this before. Oh, who says this? What do you mean, turn a bitch to some macaroni? <laughs> uh, turn to pasta. Turn to pasta. Or is it like the noise? Yeah, the macaroni in the pot thing. Ah. The kind of like. So this rapper is going to be making them wet. <laughs> Could be that. Or like, you know how they say like turn his brain to pasta? Maybe it's like shooting a person. Oh. Less fun, but some say it's the ultimate thrill. Yeah, that's true. Killing a man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some say. I don't know. I'm not going to guess on this I'm one. not either. This is Dej Loaf. Ah. Ah, yeah. Okay. And their, the, their name's kind of like food, too. A loaf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like a double. It's like a loaf of bread. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, YouTube shorts. I know. Wow. <laughs> wow. What a, what a world we're living in. What an in. algorithm. Apple AI. Oh, I can't wait to see through Coming those out. classes. Coming out next year. That is going to be just, it's it's not even AI, it's AR, right? Right. Yeah. I am going to off myself in it the first opportunity I get. <laughs> just to see what it feels like. You know that that's not, it's AR, so it's right. augmented reality. So you if you kill yourself in AR, you die in real no. life. No, I'm going to do it just to see the reaction of my friends and family. Uh, again, I want to live out that sick fantasy of you want to go to your own funeral or whatever. Something you like don't that, get yeah. to do that if well, you do it in AR. VR. I'm going to hang myself in AR. I <laughs> do. <Dude, laughs> I'm telling you right I'm, now, you I'm can't. I'm gonna do it. You know what? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ingest everything under the sink. The second they let me into that AR, I'm gobbling up chemicals. I am going to take a nap on 94. You should do a little more <laughs> research. <laughs> Why would I do research? It seems like you put on the goggles and you're in cyberspace. <laughs> no, you're do not. Do lawless. You know, do whatever you want. You literally, it's gonna be like Pokemon Go. I killed myself in that too. <laughs> really? Yeah. Dude, what the hell? I couldn't beat Brock. I had, I really had no other their choice. They don't even have gym leaders in that. Blasted my brains all over that gym wall. Bet you he'll remember that one. I mean, yeah, probably rocked his world. Yeah. Rock Pokemon. Little metal guys with fingerless gloves. They're rock and roll Pokemon. You with me? Dad and my kids. <laughs> <laughs> Show me Star Wars for two. These two artists squashed their on-again, off-again beef in December 2021 by performing together at the Free Larry Hoover Benefit Concert. Riley. Drake and Kanye. That is correct. Yes. It's Kanye West. Well, on there it says Drake and Kanye. <laughs> and it's just yay, anyway. It's just yay. Yay, I got the points. <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> Let's do Star Wars for four. Tensions rose on the set of the 2022 film Don't Worry Darling between the second time director and this Midsommar star. I know it. I mean, I remember it. Clear as day. But the names involved are what escaped me. Yeah, um, I'm going to pass on this one. I'm not super confident. 
This is Florence Pugh and Olivia Wilde. Mm, I knew it was Olivia Wilde. Yeah. And then I know there was a Harry Styles involved. Of course. Wild Styles. That's what, <laughs> Wild gonna, that's what they're going to call that documentary, probably. He's a lunatic and a freak. What makes him a lunatic and a freak to you? Just trying to start beef. Ah, you want to be on the category, yeah. Of course, I'd yeah. love to be involved in a little beef. Yeah, I feel that. The rooting out of people's skeletons and stuff like that. We haven't really had, like, a big beef moment. Is there you any? haven't. Well, I mean, like, publicly on YouTube or anything, we haven't. I had that one. With who? Lizzo. I do not remember this at all. Yeah. What happened? Shuffleboard, Carnival Cruise, not ringing a bell? No. What? Really? I've never been on a Carnival Cruise. and I I've ne- never It wasn't even... between you and Lizzo. It was me and Lizzo. Oh, okay. Grant was there. Okay, continue. What happened? I don't want to get into it, man. It's still touchy. It was only like six, seven years ago. Six or seven years ago? Lizzo wasn't even like a huge star at that point. I know. We haven't even done YouTube at that point. Huh? It was, it was we personal meet, beef, We didn't I meet guess. Grant until 2019. Well, he was on the cruise. Or, sorry, come to 2017. Find out. Come to find out, him and his whole family were on the cruise. In Lizzo, shuffleboard. <laughs> a little dispute turned into a big spat. Who spat? You or her? She did. She threatened my life, too, publicly. There were witnesses. I have them. Whatever. <laughs> let's do another really old song. How about for two? No, I ain't got a gun. No, i never really been in a club. Still live with my parents, but I'm still a thug. I'm so gangsta. Graydon. Is that Taylor Swift? That is correct. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> she was hard in the streets before she switched switched up on me and the rest of her OG fans. They, that's what they were into? That's what we were into. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Okay, I guess. She was an absolute menace in the streets. Why was she rapping about baking? She's hard as fuck. I don't, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Was, she, was that a commercial or something? Like, what is... Wasn't that Lonely Island? It was like a, it was a... Song with T Pain. There's a song with T Pain. Mm-hmm. I want to know all about that song. I want to hear. I want to see like a whole PowerPoint presentation on why that song exists and what it's all about. <laughs> I hate that I don't have access to that within the confines of this game. Um, <laughs> flip it. Let's see Obama's playlist for six. Sharing a name with a 2004 Ashton Kutcher film, this Astro World single was one of Obama's favorite records of 2017. Riley. Butterfly effect. That is correct. Love when he kills the dog. You always bring up that scene specifically. It's a PG-13 movie, first of all. Yeah. And he puts a dog in a bag and he throws it on the fire. That's edgy. Yeah, it is edgy. Gotta just respect that. Totally. From a filmmaking standpoint, it's like, holy fucking shit. You burned up a dog. You had a little hair on you. It's okay. Hair of the dog. Exactly. (laughs) You know what I mean? Uh, Let's see what else Obama liked for four. This 2018 indie pop song resulted in a viral moment on Genius's Verified series. Riley. What is Nobody by Mitski? That is correct. People were screaming nepotism about him putting this song on there because apparently Mitski's dad worked with Obama. (laughs) Is that nepotism? Yeah. Really? You get on Obama's playlist? That's like, holy shit. You're definitely going to get hella streams and like hella clout. Wasn't the song big before it was on the playlist? Nah, I mean, this propelled it into the stratosphere, honestly. It just feels like a weird nepotism thing where it's like, your dad worked in the White House. That's why your music (laughs) career is popping off. Well, when Obama has that pull in the music world, I mean. He's got that pull on him, too. (laughs) <laughs> what? He's got a huge gun. <laughs> <laughs> well, he has plenty, yeah. I mean, he has access to many guns. I just know he's got that pole on him the most of the time. <laughs> Whatever. Still your board. Obama 2. One of Obama's favorites of 2018 was the Spanglish Cardi B record featuring Bad Bunny and J Balvin. Riley. I like it. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I like it like that. How about we do really old song for four? My dick go bold, girl. It ain't no singing. I got her singing. That pussy steamers. Riley? NBA, NBA extra young boy? <laughs> that is incorrect. <laughs> really? I really wanted him to say it was stinking, not steaming. Too. It would have rhymed better. <laughs> yeah, um, you steaming. Eh, I'll just hold I'll hold on to my, my, my butt. I feel like I know who it is now, too. This is NLE Choppa. Ah, the chakra man himself. That was pretty good. I like the young boy guess. It does sound a little bit like young boy, a little bit like Dirk, you know, the yeah. whole thing. And only Choppa's like 18 right now. When did he make that? Probably when he was like 10. When he was 10? <laughs> that pussy steaming. <laughs> Royalty free for four, please. This musician had several name changes over the years from an unpronounceable symbol to simply the artist. Riley. Prince. That is correct. It's true. Oh, yeah. The artist is cool. Yeah, that one, best picture, silent film. Cool, 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 cool. Could have been in royalty-free, too. It was in royalty-free. That's that's the category. 
It makes sense. Because <laughs> his name's Prince. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking. Sometimes when I watch Jeopardy, I do that too. I'm like, oh, that could have been in the other category. And it's like, it was that category. <laughs> <laughs> How about we do album from the features six? Grimes and Dido. Graydon. Ah, uh, the, the new Caroline Polachek album. I just clicked it. I knew it was that, but I don't know the name of it. So go ahead, Riley. Sweep it up. Desire I Want to Turn Into You. That is correct. I knew it was the, yeah. <laughs> I felt bad even getting it. That's all right. You know what I mean? I hate seeing you that way. I mean, I just knew it was her album, and I got so excited. I was like, oh, it's, and then I was like, oh, you don't know the name, do you? You just know it's on that album. So I put on my rally cap. Obama for eight, please. This irony-laden choice by Obama was a 2022 pop song criticizing both America's military and the broken concept of the American dream as a whole. Riley. It was American Teenager by Ethel Kane. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was all over Twitter. You know, Ethel was like, do you know what this song's about? I'm sure Obama has some of those same criticisms for Western culture. I mean... It's not like just because he held the office, he's like a dumbass. Well, he drone bombed a bunch of people over there. You, that wasn't a soul call. Everybody's got to get off that wave. It's not like he was in his office and he's like, you know what's up today? Killing people. <laughs> there were like a hundred people that were like, you should fucking kill these people. They are bad motherfuckers. And he's like... You know what? I'll give it a shot. <laughs> and then he did it, and he was probably like, holy shit, what a rush. <laughs> and then he did it again, and yeah, again, and yeah, again, you and know? again, and again, and again. And those generals were like, yes, yes, Mr. President, do it again. Let's wipe them out. <laughs> <laughs> Put that Ethel Kane song on. I'm, I'm really into that jam recently, and maybe they'll forget about the collateral damage. <laughs> Smithereens. <laughs> Unfortunate accident. How about Star Wars for eight? The beef between these two rappers has spanned over 20 years. They both released several diss tracks, including Guess Who Shot Ya, Hail Mary, Loose Change, and I Smell Pussy. <laughs> Graydon. Is this Tupac and Biggie? That is incorrect. <laughs> Riley. Is this... Ja Rule and 50 Cent? That is correct. Nice. I knew Loose Change was involved in the Eminem one, and I was trying to make sure that I had it right, but yeah. And 50 Cent bought all those tickets at the Ja Rule show, so they gave it an empty front row. That was my favorite diss track he ever did. <laughs> that was class. <laughs> Album from the Features for eight, please. Don Tolliver, Phoebe Bridgers, Travis Scott, and Old Dirty Bastard. What is the name of that album? I, yeah, I know it, too. I know the album, but I don't know the name of it. Oh, shit. Yep. I'm out. Yeah, I'm just not, I'm not gonna risk it, yeah. SOS by SZA. What does SOS mean? I know it means like help, but Save I Save mean, our ship. Save our ship. Oh, okay. Or suck on s <laughs> Suck on <laughs> suck on sour. It really means that or no? <laughs> Sometimes if you're at the candy island. Fuck life, no, 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 you can't tell me, you can't save our ship. <laughs> That's a little peep. Doing a song about being stranded on an island. <laughs> Old song for six, please. I like the four tens at the bottom. I'm feeling like Picasso. The beat is my canvas. My brain is the paint. The results so candid. Riley. Is that Joey Badass? That is incorrect. Oh, the high voice translated so perfectly like down to what they rap like now, but I just couldn't. I need the 12 point swing here, but I, I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I got nothing. Who is it, G? This is Lil Tracy. Oh, wow. Whoa, that's a little Tracy. How about that? I would have never guessed. And I thought New York for sure. Little Tracy's like, he's from Virginia. Yeah. And I know his parents were in uh, Diggable Planets. So they, he has yeah. like some, you know, some Backpack real rap coming. roots. That's crazy. Wow. So you're bored. How about we do Star Wars for 10? This controversial dance pop artist has a comprehensive list of all their celebrity beefs on a Wikipedia page that includes Grimes, Nicki Minaj, Elon Musk, the entire nations of Ireland and Sweden, among others. Riley. Azalea Banks. That is correct. Nice. Yeah. That's been a big topic on Twitter. There was one tweet going around that was like your favorite Azalea Banks moment, and it's just screenshots of her Instagram stories, which are the best of all time. Yeah. <laughs> it is unbelievable the things that she... that. She's able to conjure up in her mind. Like, it's just wild. She told Taylor Swift to break up with Maddie Healy and start dating James Mercer from The Shins. That's fire. <laughs> Who comes up with that? <laughs> He's 52 and married. She accused him of copying The Academy Is, which is like, they aren't even like a relevant band. I mean, it's just, it's fantastic what she's able to do. I love it. I'm from the features for 10. Playboy Cardi, Lil Uzi Vert, and Shark. I feel like I know the artist. Do not know the album. Will not guess. <laughs> this is The Life of Pierre Five by Pierre Bourne. I knew it was a Pierre album, but I just didn't know which one. Yeah, there was a lot of them. All right, last two. Where are you going? Let's do a really old song first. Finish with Obama. Then I saw her face. Now I'm a believer. That's them singing? Oh, yeah. I'm in love. 
Riley. Sam Smith? That is incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking about who did musicals. Yeah. I don't know. Who is it? This is AJR. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that actually makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that's better than their new music. It is. And then I saw her face. Now, 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 now I'm a believer. All right, last one. Last one, Obama's Infinite Playlist. This aptly named Janae Iko record found its way into Obama's mid-year playlist three years ago. Is it president of music or something? <laughs> <laughs> Aptly named. This is mid-year. Riley. Show me summer at the White House. <laughs> Close, but no. <laughs> Damn. Graydon. Show me the Secretary of Defense. <laughs> that is not it. Ooh, it was close, <laughs> yeah, though? Close, yeah. No. Oh, what was it? Summer 2020. Oh, it's, it's just apt because it's the summer and it's <laughs> called summer 2020. <laughs> Thought it had something to do with the president. <laughs> Who names a song like that? Summer 2020. <laughs> summer 2020. That's when it came out and that's what it's called. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> they wrote the date where they were supposed to write the title. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Into final Jeopardy we go. Anybody's game. My wager is going to be conservative. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to hold on to my points. I don't want that asshole to get second place. <laughs> Who? Dickhead over there. What? There's the other contestant. There's only two of there's us. There's always three people on Jeopardy. I know, but not Hive Mind Jeopardy. There's only ever been two. Who's that then? There's no one there. That's the wall. Explain the guy with freckles. Explain him? I don't see anyone. He has pig's hooves for hands. <laughs> if I lose to a person with pig's hooves for hands, that's it for me. I'm eating the sink. Have you noticed that Grant has not called out anybody's names but ours? That guy's well, too scared to buzz? He has hooves for hands. It's probably hard to buzz, <laughs> and I'm not going to lose to a pig-hooved, freckled maniac. Okay. That's never been on the show before. Right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come at you that hard. I know, I know. Just, There's no one there. It's just a game, but it means a lot to me. All right, whatever. You can wager whatever you want. Thank you. We're going to get the category for Final Jeopardy. We're going to get our whiteboards out, write down our wagers. Then we're going to get the clue. <clears throat> Then we're going to hear the official Hive Mind Jeopardy song created by Hunter Veers. Thank you, Hunter. And at the end of that song, we'll have our answers written down. We'll reveal them and our wagers, and then we will get the answer and the game will be over. Uh-huh. And I will hopefully get second place. Can we get that final Jeopardy category? Naming origins. Mmm. Graydon, show your wager to Grant. I don't want you to lie. Let's get that uh, final clue, please. This English indie rock band who released their critically acclaimed sophomore album in 2022 names themselves after a major road in the West Midlands of England after stumbling upon it through a random Wikipedia article generator. You got an answer? Well, you kind of you have to. Do you write something? Oh, okay. Well, I put Oasis. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell by Grant laughing that it's not correct. And I put Black Country New Road. That is correct. Ah, it's a new road. It's a new road, and yeah, Black Country New Road. Got it. So you wagered zero. Correct. I wanted to play it safe. I went ahead and wagered 33. For Larry Bird. I like it. Yeah, that's why. That's <laughs> nice. why. It was a good game. <laughs> it was a good game. It was very, very fun. I like having double Jeopardy. I'm glad we added the second board. Me too. If you guys want us to keep playing Hive Mind Jeopardy, let us know down in the comment section. Also, send some ideas for categories over to DJ Grant and tell us who we should have on. We have four buzzers. Yeah, we could add one more. <laughs> Other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all this stuff, blah, 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 blah. I'm Graydon. Would you like to leave one of people some advice to leave those their lives by? All, all things in this life have a reason. <laughs> all right, this has been iMind TV. We love you, appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. This one's for you, Ken. You're really, you're funny. I appreciate it. A lot of people say the opposite, but I disagree with them. I've been watching a lot of beheading videos online.